Hi, Rick DeLugri, part seven of our guide to the election. I'd like to talk for a minute about contracts. Let's start with the fact that the Democrats have said from the beginning that the way city council should handle contract negotiations is to bargain hard but bargain fair. And we're doing that right now with contracts that are being negotiated. And we did that with the contracts that have already been resolved. Now, in political advertisements that you'll see that I think we probably all received in our homes, Phil Gunther is laying claim to being the person who is best situated going forward to rein in excesses of the past in public contracts. That's a remarkable claim. Let's just say this. Every single public employee contract that's been negotiated over the past 22 years happened under Phil's watch. Those contracts have been negotiated. They typically have a three or four year term. So each and every contract has come up numerous times and the uniform result has been that everything increased all the time. That has been the approach. Now, that doesn't really suggest to me that, that Phil is the person or people who ally themselves with Phil in the future to suddenly become hard bargainers. Let's look at the most recent contract that was resolved under Phil's leadership. That would be the 2010 firefighters contracts. In 2010, the state legislature passed a law in March, which was to take effect in May of that year which provided that public employees would have to make contributions to their health care costs unless they were already in the middle of a contract, in which case that obligation wouldn't take effect until their contract was over. What did Phil Gunther do? Phil negotiated, I'll use that word kind of laughingly, a contract that gave a 16% increase over four years and which was signed about five days before the effective date of the health care law. Meaning, Phil handed the firefighters four free years of no contributions to their health care benefits. If I'm a firefighter, I'll take that deal. I don't blame them. But why? Why, Phil, did you feel that that was appropriate? Do you think that that was the right course of action to take in 2010 in the midst of a recession I mean, I guess I should be happy that you didn't offer that same deal to reopen everybody else's contracts and do the same thing a week before the law took effect. But, I mean, facts are facts. That was a conscious decision that Phil Gunther made and a contract that he entered into and there was no possible public benefit to him doing that. These are the facts. And you can't through your political advertising or through rebranding yourself, change the reality of what has happened over 22 years and how you've approached things. The best person, the best people, to handle the city's interest and protect the taxpayer's interest going forward with contract negotiations are Lisa McClay, Frank Kern, and Robert Polo. Thank you.